let x be the number of heads that appear in two flips of a fair coin. Find the cumulative distribution function capital F of x. Well in this particular case there are four equally likely outcomes and those four equally likely outcomes are heads heads, heads tails, tails heads, tails tails to two flips of a fair coin. So if you count the number of heads that are appearing there is a one in four probability that you will have two heads. There is a one in two probability that you will have one head and there is a one in four probability that you will have zero heads. Now this can be written explicitly in this fashion although that's fine if there's just two flips if you have 30 flips that would get a little tedious so it can also be written in one piece as f of x equals 2 choose x times 1 half squared for x equals 0, 1, 2. And we'll see a little bit later that this is a special case of a distribution known as the binomial distribution. When you draw a graph of f of x, you can see it's 1 fourth, 1 half, and 1 fourth as the three spikes. Now on the next page, when you want the cumulative distribution function, you can see that capital F of x is going to be 0 for x less than 0 it will jump up by one-fourth and stay there between zero and one and then it'll jump up it will accumulate another one-half here and take it up to three-fourths between one and two and then finally it'll ju jump up another one-fourth for x greater than or equal to two now even though it's a little clunky to write it in this fashion you can take the probability mass function which I'm going to write as f of w and you can say that's the sum from w equals 0 up to the floor of x and that function will work and that's defined for all x between minus infinity and infinity. So a couple notes first of all f of x is defined for all x and f of x is a right continuous function. If I want to plot this here is some R code first thing we do is we set x to the mass values 0 1 and 2 we set little f of x to the probability mass function values and that's 1 fourth 1 half and 1 fourth and then we use a function here cum sum which stands for cumulative sum and apply that to little f of x and that will give us the function capital F of X which is um, going to be one-fourth uh, three-quarters and one. So finally when we uh, do a plot of the function there is another R function here step fung which stands for step function and that is X and f of x as arguments type equals l will connect them with lines so actually what happens here is the steps will be filled in but in any case this is what the cumulative distribution function looks like starts at zero jumps up to a fourth jumps up to three-fourths and finally jumps up to one